हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज प्रियंका एंड आई एम योर डिजिटल मेंटर टुडे आई एम हियर टू स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर 18 दैट इज द यूनाइटेड नेशंस यूएन सो लेट्स किक स्टार्ट आइडेंटिफाई द कंट्रीज फ्रॉम देयर फ्लैग्स एंड राइट देयर नेम्स ऑन द ब्लैंक्स ऑल ऑफ देम आर फाउंडिंग मेंबर्स ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस The Europeans went to Asian, African and American countries in search of raw materials for their factories and markets for the goods made in their countries. They established colonies in many parts of Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Australia and Oceania. The Europeans fought among themselves to gain more control and benefits. This was the main cause of the first world war in 1914 and the second world war in 1939. The second world war war ended with the dropping of atom bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan in 1945. Millions of soldiers and other people were killed during these two world wars. Formation of the United Nation The leaders of many countries in the world feel that war is not a solution to any problem. The nations of the world wanted to live in peace so that they can prosper. Many countries in the world wanted to form an organization which can help in solving problems so that war can be avoided in future. After the first world war, the League of Nations was form to prevent wars in future but it failed after the second world war 1913 to 1945 which lasted for 6 years the united nation organization was formed in 1945 this name was first used by franklin d roosevelt then the president of usa so children it's time for tits and bits India joined the UN on 30th October 1945. The Charter of the United Nations Organization UNO was signed by 50 nations on 24th October 1945 in San Francisco, USA. The UNO after 1950 has become to be known as the United Nations UN. The United Nations Day is celebrated on 24th October every year throughout the world. Today the total members of the UN are 193. The membership of the United Nations is open to all peace loving countries. The headquarters of the United Nations are in New York, USA. The United Nations has six official languages such as english french russia spanish chinese and arabic the un has its own flag and emblem light blue in color the main objectives of the united nations are as under first to maintain peace and security among the nations of the world second to develop friendly relations among the nations of the world third to solve the problems of nation in a peaceful and cooperative manner fourth to protect human rights and freedom of people based on race religion language and sex fifth to help the member nations to achieve the above objectives organs of the un the united nations does not make laws for its member countries it does not impose taxes in united nations the issue and problems are discussed to find amicable solutions the united nations carries out its work through six major organs or bodies which are as under the general assembly it is the main organ of the united nation and is like the parliament of our country Every member nation has one representative in it. Each representative has the right of one vote in the general assembly. 
it meets at least once in a year in the month of november the second one is the security council it works for security and international peace it has 15 members five of them are permanent members and the other 10 are non permanent members elected for a term of 2 years the permanent members of the security council are usa russia uk france and china and the third one is the secretariat it is the administrative body and carries out the day to day work of the united nations the secretary general appointed for 5 years is the head of secretariat he is the most powerful person in the united nations at present antonio gutres is the secretary general of the united nations at present antonio gutres is the secretary general of the united nations the secretariat also looks after the programs and policies laid down by other organs of the united nations fourth one is the economic and social council the united nation has many agencies to help the poor and sick and the illiterates the council has 18 members it works under the general assembly it looks into issues such as human rights equality of women and regulation of trade fifth one is the international court of justice this is the legal court of the united nations its headquarters are in the hague in netherlands the court has 15 permanent judges and it works throughout the year it decides about any dispute between the member nations and also advises them on matters of international law and the next one is united nations international children's emergency fund that is unicef u n i c e f it works for the welfare of children all over the world especially their rights development and protection it helps in providing food education health and homes for the children the trusteeship council this council was set up to look after 11 territories in the world called trustees these territories were former colonies under germany and japan they were not independent at that time as all of them have now become independent countries the trusteeship council was dissolved in 1994 agencies of the un there are many agencies working through the economic and social councils to achieve the aims and objectives of the united nations some of the agencies are as under united nations education scientific and cultural organization that is unesco u n e s c o its main aim is to eliminate illiteracy from the world it encourages international cooperation in education science and culture it protects human rights and helps to preserve cultural heritage world health organization that is who this organization works to improve the health conditions of the people all over the world it is continuously working to fight against disease such as malaria tuberculosis cancer aids bird flu swine flu etc food and agricultural organization fao this organization is working to provide food for all in the world its motto is freedom from hunger its latin motto fiat panis stands for let there be bread in english language it helps nation all over the world to increase food production international labor organization that is ilo this organization helps in promoting opportunities for employment it also helps in solving the problems between governments employers and workers achievements of the un the united nation has been successful in maintaining peace in the world war
It has been able to prevent disputes from growing into major issues for war. Some of the achievements are first, the war in Korea, Vietnam, Palestine, Iraq and Iran were not allowed to spread to other parts of the world. Second, the UN has been able to prevent the use of destructive weapons. Third, the UN is actively involved in peacekeeping operations. Fourth, the UN was successful in helping the developing countries in their fight against poverty, disease and illiteracy. Fifth, the UN has made this world a better place to live and work. India and UN India is a founder member of the United Nations. Our country has actively supported the programs of the UN. First, the Indian Armed Forces worked as UN's peacekeeping force. Second, India has worked against racial discrimination, arms race and the use of atomic weapons. Third, India has always supported the use of atomic energy for peaceful purposes. Fourth, India is an active partner in the relief operations of the UN. Fifth, the UN has always been sending experts to our country to solve our problems. So children, it's time to looking back. The greed and unhealthy competition among the European nation caused two world wars. After the second world war, 50 nations got together and formed the UN organization. The main aims of the UN are to maintain peace in the world and help in the improvement of living standards. The main organs of the UN are the General Assembly, the Security Council, the Secretariat, the Economic and Social Council, the International Court of Justice and the Trusteeship Council. The UN does most of its work through agencies such as UNICEF, UNESCO, WHO, FAO and ILO. And the last one is the UN helped the poor nations in their fight against hunger, diseases, illiteracy etc. So children, it's time to take your leave and bye. We'll meet in the next class.